Time for Cliffs and Quips. Most people carve pumpkins or bake with pumpkins. Well, we're going to show you a guy who rides in them. He's an English artist who works with oversized vegetables. And here he's trying to set a new world record for the fastest 100-meter pedal in a pumpkin. You didn't know there was a record for that, did you? No, the way he's swinging the water, though, around. <laughs> yeah. It's going to fill that pumpkin up and well, sink it. Well, he made it, and it took him exactly two minutes to get the 600-pound pumpkin across the finish line. The previous record was set by Fievel in An American <laughs> Tale. There you go. He tried to do that with a jack-o'-lantern, but it sank. <laughs> An Atlanta area high school cheerleader has a special title to add to her resume, world record holder. Michaela Clark did a whopping 44 back handsprings in a row, breaking the previous record of 36. Clark says she's been working toward this goal since the beginning of the football season. Hmm. It's not that long, though, to be practicing. Mm. <laughs> but still, that's yeah. making me They do dizzy. want to stay out of her way in, in the halls at school, however. Yeah, that is true. Now, Ryan was a cheerleader uh -huh. in college. I think she can tumble. I think we're going to have to really? try this out. We should have a competition. Yep. All right. Game on. Yep. Ryan doesn't know it yet, though. That is very <laughs> We're true. signing her up. Now, I'll tell you how the weekend's shaping up. We are going to see a cold front. That's after the break. You're watching KRCG 13 live at sunrise. Well, there are countless diehard Green Bay Packer fans in Wisconsin. One boy's taking that Packer pride, though, to a whole new level. David Pell has worn Aaron Rodgers' jersey to the point where it's worn out. He's been wearing it for 1,035 consecutive days, what? and he says he plans to keep wearing it another year. His dad uh, is taking some of the blame. He said he once mentioned that another fan wore a Brett Favre jersey for more than four years. So he says David is now determined to break the record. David is the lone Packer fan in his family, with the rest being Vi uh, Viking fans. Now his younger brothers decided to wear his Vikings jersey every day for four years. I really hope they're washing that. Or they have more than yeah, one. Yeah, no kidding. Huh? Yeah. Uh, I think they'd be washing them. Look at that. I can understand maybe during the season when I uh -huh. was playing hockey competitively, I wouldn't wash my yeah. socks if we're on a winning streak. Yeah. But you, you got to wash it, you know, in the off season. Those are short sleeve too. That would be kind of cold in the wintertime, yeah. I would think. Yeah. I mean, it's wear it on game day. Support mm -hmm. them then. But wear other clothes. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to worry about what you're going to wear the next day, I Saving guess. Saving money. That's yeah, that's sure. true. Well, if you can't get away on vacation, perhaps your stuffed animal would like one instead. The program is called Stuffed Animal Tour. It's offered by a Tokyo travel company. It takes your stuffed animals on vacation without you. Sunlin Surfity explains how that works. These bears, puppies, and bunnies are quite the world travelers. Seen here touring the sites, sampling the food in all sorts of foreign cities. CNN reports this sort of international toy tourism is made possible by the Unagi Travel Company in Tokyo. The specialty service started three years ago and have led nearly 200 stuffed animals on vacations across Japan, Europe, and the U.S. Here's how it works. For a small price, $45 plus the cost of shipping, send in your stuffed animal. Then your toy will be taken on all sorts of travel adventures. Each leg of the journey, from pancakes being shared with travel companions to footprints on the beach, will be documented with photos, and those snapshots will be sent back to the toy's owner. And that's where the therapeutic benefit really does come in for the owners. Owners to tell Japan News that they get enjoyment out of seeing these sights from their stuffed animals' eyes, especially when they would be unable to visit otherwise. Japan News reports 40% of the business's customers are repeat customers. What is wrong with that story? We have hungry people in the there world. There are many things wrong Homeless with that people story. in the world, and these idiots are sending <laughs> their stuffed animals out to, <laughs> to go on trips. That really ruffled your stuffing, didn't well, it? It's, it's pretty stupid. I, I can almost understand for maybe like a little kid if they want their stuffed yeah. animal travel. But if you're interested, go to wasteofmoney.com. Well, it's like the, the flat Stanleys, you know, where you mm -hmm. send them and take pictures of them well, different places. Well, that's a little different. Yeah, yeah, much different. Send out a flat Stanley to mm -hmm. a relative and okay. have a vacation. And, and if you're a stuffed animal and watching, please don't send me an email. <laughs> please do it. <laughs> Here's a look at who's celebrating a birthday right here in the heart of Missouri.